Bling! <laughs> Hi everybody! Welcome back to Daily Doodles. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a peace dove with an olive branch. So this is a sign of peace. Um, and uh, of course that's something that this world could use a bit more of. Um, so I'm going to start drawing it out with a black marker. You don't have to do this. Um, you can use a pencil if you like, but I'm just going to start with a black marker. And I'm going to start with the little bird's beak. So now the little beak is going to be right here. His head is going to be like right here and his little body coming down. And then we're going to have the wings. Okay. And the olive branch is going to be coming out of his beak. So I'm going to start with almost like a little triangle shape but it's got soft edges soft kind of rounded edges and then after that i'm going to come on down like halfway yes, halfway at that of that triangle and i come down a little bit right there and give it a little bit of a curved line and then i'm going to come up and that's the bottom part of his beak so now I'm going to do a circle here, okay, and then a little circle inside, and then I'm going to color in everything except the little circle inside, and now we've got his eye. Okay, so now next I'm going to start by um, doing a little teeny tiny line right there, and then I'm coming all the way up, rounding, rounding, and we've got his little head so that was like a big upside down U shape and now from the head we're gonna put a little line going down that way and then right here so kind of almost across from the bottom of the beak but a little bit further down I'm gonna start on the wing so I'm going to give it a little curved line and now we're gonna go further out. Okay, so it's almost like one curve here and then a line that way. And now I'm gonna make a great U shape here and come on in. It's like a great big, a great big giant U, really. <laughs> and, um, and then we're gonna keep going with these great big tall U shapes. And these are the feathers. So we got all kinds of U's and they're getting smaller and smaller as we go on in. And now I'm going to do a few more of these U shapes. And you see I'm following that curve that we did here. See how these U shapes are kind of curved? Just like this line is. Now, we're going to do his back wing as well, the wing that we can't really see as much of because it's on the other side. So we're going to come up like that. We're going to kind of do the same. Uh, we're going to follow the same kind of lines that we did over there. So we got that curved line and then almost like a straight one. And then that U shape. And then we can't really see much more because it's behind him, behind that wing. Okay. So now, from the bottom of his beak there, we're gonna draw a little, little line. And now we're gonna give him a little, little belly. Okay, so we go, woo! Just like a little, uh, pretend you're on a slide and you're going on down that hill. <laughs> so, a little silly hill shape, I guess. And we got his little bird belly. Now, from the bottom part of this wing, we're going to go down a little bit, and then we're going to start doing some more of these little U shapes. Okay? And we're coming on, see how we're kind of coming on in here? And then we're going to connect right there. So we got, we're working on a tail here now. And I'm going to do some more of these little U shapes. So some more of these little feathers, okay? And uh, you can add lots of feathers if you want to. Um, we can even add some up here on his little chest. So we got a few little U-shaped feathers, okay? 
and here on the bottom I'm going to do like a little upside down hill and another little upside down hill um, kind of like a W shape actually so from here we're gonna do a little line another little line see how they're kind of curved a little bit and then we're gonna do like a C shape okay so then we make a almost a full circle but we're leaving the bottom out and then we curve in and we got a little foot and we're gonna do the same over here same kind of thing little line then another little one and then we're gonna curve and then come on and then go behind and do that little line okay so now we got his little feet um, so next we have to do that olive branch so it's gonna be in his little beak so we can do a line it doesn't have to be a straight line it can be a curved line it can be a wiggly line it's up to you so we got a line and it's in his little beak and I'm going to put some leaves on it so I gave my little leaf here kind of a rounded edge but if you want they can be pointed it's up to you so I'm putting a little leaf on like each side and coming all the way down that branch. So I got lots of leaves on this olive branch. Maybe yours doesn't have as many, it's up to you. All right, so I'm going to uh, start by, I'm going to start doing some coloring now so for the leaves on the olive branch I'm going to color those in green just a nice leafy green color you can make them light green dark green it's all up to you and maybe if you want maybe instead of using black for the actual branch see that line like I used a black marker maybe you want to use a brown marker or a green marker it's all up to you okay so we're almost done and there we go so that's it for the leaves on the olive branch and now I'm gonna take a yellow and color in the little beak of our piece of and the bottom and I'm going to use the same yellow color for his little feet. And there we go, two little feet. So now, so now um, I'm going to actually take, this is a light purple color. Um, you don't have to use a light purple color, um, but I'm going to add some little bits of shadow all over certain areas of our piece of um, if you want you can use like a gray you can use a light blue it is up to you but I'm gonna put some in here connecting um, kind of putting some shadow around where the beak connects to his little face and then I'm gonna put some little bits of shadow here underneath our little u-shaped feathers and I'm going to put some over here underneath the wings because we would definitely have some shadow there and under the feathers here on his tail okay, and here on the little little legs and here on the wings and you don't have to do this part it's up to you it's totally fine but I just think it adds a bit more interest to the picture um, I'm gonna add some more shading here some more of this light purple kind of outlining these feathers 
and it also really helps the pea stuff to kind of stand out more in this picture because well he's a white dove on a white page so having a bit of shadow really helps make them pop now here on the back wing the wing we can't really see as well and put some shadowy purple here on that part as well and a bit more on his little belly a little tiny bit more on the feathers here the tail feathers All right, and now the last thing I'm gonna do, because he's a white dove against a white background, is I'm gonna take my black marker again and I'm going to thicken up the outline. So our black outline, I'm gonna make it even thicker. So he's really popping out on the page. So I'm just making it a little bit thicker. See how much thicker it is already? So I'm just kind of going over all the spots. We've got our black marker here, but I'm not going to go over all the all the spots like I'm not going to go over each individual feather or anything like that. I'm just going over the actual outline and uh, just the outside of them and making everything on the outside a bit darker. And you don't have to do that with the um, olive branch if you don't want to, because the olive branch isn't all white. It doesn't have the same, um, it's not really blending into the white paper the same as the white dove is. So we don't have to do that with the white olive branch, but you can if you want to. You're the artist. It's all up to you. So we're almost all done, but not quite, but we're getting there. A few more feathers. Alrighty, so folks, we are finished our white piece of with the olive branch. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you feel free to uh, like and comment and subscribe and all that good stuff because it really does help out the channel. And um, I hope you had fun today. I hope you have a great day today. I hope you have a very uh, peaceful, peaceful day. <laughs> and I hope to see you here next time. All right, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.